Capricorn. You were at the front of the week for so long. Now you got put it back to Thursdays because Aquarius season. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, Watch Natalie, spelled N-A-T-A-L-E-E. -E. I'm here to do your weekly reading. I love you guys. I'm a Capricorn. I love my people. Okay, so I'm taking the dates off of the weekly readings. Then these weeklies, it's like whenever you click in, if it resonates, if the situation resonates, it resonates, okay? I even kind of feel that way about the other signs, so that if other signs resonate, they resonate. Okay, you might not know why, you might not have the astrological computations in your head of why they resonate, but you can feel it. So if it resonates, it resonates. Okay, Capricorn. Whew. You want to do this right. You want to do it right. Ooh. You want to do this right. That's what I feel. I feel like you just want to do it right. You're humbled. You know, Saturn and Pluto been working on you for years now, and I feel like you have heated. You've come to heal to the universe, the cosmos, the only bigger authority, the real natural authority. That's that's your guide, okay? That's that's what you are coming to heal to, or have learned to come to heal to. And I know that we don't like the way that sounds. That's why I add in that only natural authority. Like the true authority, Mother Nature, Father Time. That's us, Saturn. But it all comes back to us being the most powerful. All right, let's see what we've got for you guys for this week ahead. But I get that. You want to get it right. Like you just want to do it right, get it right. Ooh, okay. I'll take the one that fell right on the floor. Hold on. I know. I know. Hold on. Hold on. I know, Trudy. It's not cute. I know. Okay. We have here the four. Okay, now I did pick it up in reverse, but I'm looking at it upright. So what's right? Okay, I'm just going to leave it upright because that's how I see this. And I've never seen this. I actually have a robe. It's not a robe. It's a sleigh blanket. It's a sleigh throw. It looks a lot like this. A sleigh throw for your sled. Okay, so the Four of Pentacles, first card out. This is more of that, I want to get it right. I want to do it right. I want to get it right. You're holding on to something, and I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. I feel like you're holding on to that thought. I think you're holding on to this, got to get it right. I got to get it right, got to get it right, got to get it right. I want to get this right. I don't want to get it wrong. I want to get it right. I want to get it right. I just want to get it right. I'm getting smart, something smart about this. You're trying to stay smart, trying to be smart. You're also saving your money. You're saving your resources. There could be something, they could, there could be things you can do, extra things you can do, extra things you can have, but you're not, you're like, I wanna get it right. I wanna hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep my money. I like the way it feels to keep my money. I don't wanna give it away. You know what they're telling me? The money that you spend, okay, first there's a difference between spend and invest. When you spend, you don't get it back. Spending money, spending time, spending energy and attention, you're not getting it back. Investing, you do. Investing my money, I'm getting more back. Investing my time, investing my energy, investing my attention into this person because I'm going to get a return on that investment. So it's like you're saving everything of yourself. You're saving your energy, you're saving your attention, you're saving your money. You're saving yourself. You're saving your life force to really use it and shoot your shot when it really matters to you. I like this energy. For, I mean, of course I would say that, but I especially like this energy. Two of swords. Eesh. I'm taking the two beneath this. I'm taking the first two. The two of swords and the seven of staves. These characters right here. Okay. Ooh. You're putting a stop to something. 
you are this energy is going going and then it stops it comes right into this i mean it's not even that it's really going i mean the four of pentacles it's not really giving freely and moving freely seven of staves it's like i'm protecting myself i'm protecting what i have i'm just advocating for what i need it comes right up to this two of swords a stalemate position there's going to be something that's not going to go this week and it's for the better The stalemate position. It's it's like it can't... Because of what you need, though, here's why it's okay for that to happen. It's not going to happen because it can't give you what you need with the seven of staves. The seven of staves, the seven of wands, it's a list. It's like an actual list that you slide across the table saying, this is what I need to do this job. A relation. This is what I need to be in a committed relationship with you. This is what I can offer you. This is what I need in return. It's advocating for those needs. It's having the right and the entitlement to say, I pull in X amount of money per year for this company. This is what I need to keep doing it. And it comes right up to the two of swords, which is gridlock, stalemate. Well, we can't do that. We can't. Well, and then the, <laughs> there was the answer. Because you're in this mode, this whole week, Capricorn of saving. You're not going to spend an iota of your life force outside of what's truly deeply important to you and what is going to be act, an actual investment. So you're not, you're just deciding that this is not, you, it, it's like a non-starter. Oh, and look at what you get. The Ten of Cups of Happiness. Love and happiness. Okay, so you're going to be okay. You're going to be so okay. It's going to be a good thing that you have standards, that you're saving yourself, that you are having this list in your head of like what you need. Because if you don't have it clearly defined what you need to survive, what you need to thrive, what you need to do a job, what you need to do a relationship, then all of those details can be determined by the other side. You don't really need that. You don't. You can do without that. Here, let's give you this instead. Letting someone else dictate that to you is such a harmful thing, okay? And you're not in that victimized position. You're in an empowered position this week, Capricorn, where you're deciding for yourself where you put your money, your energy, and your attention. So it really comes through for you this week because there is something that reaches a very natural conclusion. This feels very natural. It's very, very natural. I don't get any bad blood from this at all. Whatever you're doing, whoever you're interacting with, it's just a clear non-starter. It's just very clear to you and to everyone else that, well, then we just can't well, then it's okay. Okay. We'll give it up to the, you know, like I'm saying, I'm not getting any bad blood off of this. So you're not going to be burning any bridges. It frees you up. Okay. It really does. And it makes you super happy. The 10 of cups is kind of a huge energy to swing into from this. I mean, there's nothing totally wrong or bad happening with this. It's just, it just makes you really happy. I don't know why it's making you, let's take a look. Why is this making you so happy? Because 10 is the number of completion. You went from 4 to 7 to 2 to 10. So there is a completion energy here. Oh, it could be that you're of what you're saving. You have more time with your friends, your family, the people that love you, the people that are important to you. Yeah, that's what it is. That's that is what it is. They just told me. Yeah, it's because of what you're saving yourself by not going and doing something that is not quite right for you. That can't meet you, that can't give you what you need. So you, in effect, give yourself what you need by, okay, what's the next message? Okay. 
You're going to end up a happier person living your life this way, Capricorn. Oh, wow. Damn, this Queen of Swords is epic. She's even touching the damn sword. Dang. This is menacing. This is like you don't mess with her. And then we have here the moon. Oh, boy. <sighs> Why did everything just get super serious right now? Wow. You're in a very powerful position, Capricorn, because what you're doing this week is you are able to, it's like you are mining your own psychic downloads, your own intuition. You are doing this all yourself. And it's like listening to your intuition and taking notes and then putting it into an algorithm and then having that give you the answer it's weird it's like this whole computation with this queen of swords it's just so surgical it's so precise it's so logical and to be with the moon coming out it's just empowering your intuition it's just making it that much stronger and more precise and more accurate and more pinpoint i would expect your intuition to be on point this week i mean you will know like this will come up as like a no-brainer, non-starter, very clear. Well, we're obviously too far apart. Boom, it's over. The meeting's done. This is pretty swift. Yeah, because you are just operating on like an incredible level here. It's like you're taking care of yourself. You're conserving your energies. You're advocating for what you need and letting everything that can't meet you at your standards naturally, organically fall away. That's what it is. And it creates a life for you that is really, really well suited to you where only everything that you love is there all the time. And every area too, it's almost like Like your brother coming to you saying, hey, can you help me start a car business where we fix up cars and it's like a thing. And then you can go, oh, okay, well, I need X, Y, Z and I need all of your books of your, I'm taking pictures of this squirrel, I'm sorry, all of your information or you, you know, you're, you're needing something from him, right? You need like documents, you need you know, whatever you need. And he's like, oh, well, you know, I didn't file the paperwork, so I don't have that. And I know there's fines because I didn't file that paperwork. So I'll, like, I still owe those fines. So it's like, a la, 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 la. And you're like, that's not what I need. That's a huge mess for me to clean up. And so I can't help you, bro. Sorry. Letting him organically drift away. And if he tries to come back at you saying like, oh, you're just going to go, listen, I, I want to help you. I want to do this, but I need certain things before I can do that. So if I don't get what I need, I can't even help you. So I'm no use to you. Okay, well, how about $1,000? Well, there's certain things that I need before I can release those funds. And I don't, <laughs> that's so funny. I'm not going to say why that's funny. I'm sure you already know. <laughs> But you're like, I need what I need. I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it. But it's true. You're like, I need what I need to do with my job. Like, I'm, I want to do my job. I want to live my life. I'm holding on to my integrity. This is really about you following your own integrity, Capricorn. You, you need what you need in order to give what you have to give, which everyone needs a Capricorn in their lives to come and like do shit, okay? To come and like clean it up or do whatever, be the good solid friend, be the, the rock, <sighs> okay? So this is about you maintaining your integrity and letting anything that cannot meet you there 
organically fade away makes you super happy it's it's part of your art of living it's part of you building this life for yourself where you're not putting money spending money into family and friends and situations that are not going to give you anything back what for the sake of helping is it helping or is it enabling okay where you live a life that all of your energy and attention is into something that you're so excited about that you love that it's not filled with resentment that it's not filled with oh i'm doing this and i really deserve better i really deserve more i shouldn't even be doing this but i'm doing it anyway none of that it's just really building your life by creating standards high enough where it's like but it's like you're refining it this week this week you're refining one more little thing where you put up a boundary and put up a um, standard like putting the notice on the notice board let every man and woman here be forewarned capricorn has a new standard for what have you and letting letting that be known it creates a really beautiful life here and you know this is right for you so if you do get any criticisms i'm not getting that at all but if you do you will you don't have to defend yourself to anyone or anything if they can't understand what you're doing by observation and they can't learn by by observing there ain't nothing you can do for them there's nothing you can do to help them get one more card one more energy for this week for Capricorn yeah I'm getting a lot of art of living energy here about building your life building your life constantly refining it and it has to do with pulling your energy back in it has to do with you conserving your own energy of what you're giving to others Taking a deep, hard look at that Capricorn, doing the internal soul work of every moment of my life, every day of my life has to be precious to me. How do I make it precious? How do I make it valuable? How do I make it something that I care about without it being attached to other people caring about me, other people praising me, other forms of validation? How do I create a valuable life to myself? Well... I don't want to work for less than what I'm worth. Let's start there. Okay, I don't want to be entangled in any relationship that doesn't value what I have to put into it, be it family, friends, or otherwise. It was years ago, Capricorn, years ago that I decided, I was like a teenager when I decided my family wasn't a blood relation. My family were the people that I choose to be my family. That those blood relatives okay I'm related to them we share some common ancestors but it doesn't make you my family I won't consider you my family until we have this this standard of relationship of relating to each other each other each other man Mercury retrograde is gonna mess all of us up I really have to concentrate on speaking slower sorry the relationships that you have around you the way you make your money, the way you redistribute your money, invest your money. This is this is Capricorn school lesson this week is to maintain these standards. It's really interesting because Scorpio had a similar reading except they're going to they have they have some actual pressure on them currently with their standard issue and you Capricorn you're different in that there are little things. With Scorpio, it's like there's like one big thing that they're being put to the test about. With you this week, Capricorn, you will have to put up your standards and put all of that into action, externalize all of that on a day-to-day -day level. Like every moment of every day, you're going to have to pay attention to this and make sure that everything that you're doing moment to moment is really feeding your soul, is really investing in yourself because with the four of pentacles i feel like you have been giving so much 
needlessly and wanting to just give and thinking that you have unlimited supplies. And that's just not the case. You're going to burn yourself out. And this is part of Saturn Pluto teaching you. Okay, I would look back to 2008, 2009. I'm sure your life is completely different. If it's not completely different, you as a person, you are completely different. Whole different, almost like reincarnation in the same body here. And this is part of it. This is part of not just giving all your money away, giving your energy, your attention away. Even, you know, indulging someone on the street, letting them give you their spiel before you say no. You're going to not do something like that. You're going to just keep walking because your life, your life force, your energy, your attention is precious. So you just keep walking and you get to your lunch with your daughter sooner. And you have more time with your daughter. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's sort of like that. So that's what I see for you this week. And I do see with this hermit card, you, oh, it's beautiful. It's actually really beautiful that this hermit card is coming out because of this right here. You are almost, I don't want to say weaponizing because that sounds so powerful, but you are strengthening your intuition where it is becoming a very powerful tool. Like you're able to almost draw it out like a sword. Like that's how concrete and real it's starting to become. So the more that you do this, the stronger it will get Capricorn and the more you will have and the, the connection to source is going to be more strong and alert and keen. And you get more of this, more of your Ten of Cups. So you're all gravy this week, Capricorn. Seriously, I am just here to confirm for you. Okay, so as far as recommendations, I do not recommend a personal reading at this time. If you'd like to book one for the far future, you can log on to theartigan.com slash shop and you can reserve your spot. If anything comes up sooner before, then you can always add the rush and have it done within 24 hours. But that would be for something unrelated to this. You don't need a reading for this, okay? This is just important confirmation for you this week, Capricorn, that you are doing everything correctly by reserving yourself, pulling yourself back, pulling your energies back. That's what you need to be doing. Do more of that. Figure out what your values are your priorities. There is no such thing as time, time spirals. All we have our attention and our energies and how we, you know, order those is our priorities. Our priorities are dictated by our values. Okay. So that's what you're more so putting your attention and energy into is figuring more of that out. The intuition is spotless. It's perfect. It's coming in clean and clear with this queen of swords energy. So just spend a lot of time with yourself, Capricorn, and make it good time with yourself where you're not speaking negative thoughts about yourself, where you're not being harsh on yourself and judging yourself for, you know, how far you should be by now or what you should be accomplishing by now. Be very kind with yourself. Reserve your energies and your strength and your money and just enjoy being with yourself. That's your standard. That's your standard, Capricorn, this week, that if another person or business opportunity isn't as good as you being with yourself in your own company, then it's not worth it. A relationship that you want to be in. When this person is with you in your world and your energy, do they add to your happiness or do they kind of compromise that happiness? Business opportunity. Is it as good as or better than your company with yourself and what you build and create on your own? That's where I want you to go with this this week. So have a great week, Capricorns, my loves, my little goat brothers and sisters, and we'll talk next week. Bye. I did it again, Capricorn. I looked at the bottom of the deck to clean up the cards and... I was struck by this beautiful depiction of the Wheel of Fortune. I mean, just let that wash over you, okay? This is a big deal. This is this kind of changes everything about your reading. This, this is all leading towards that. Everything that you're doing this week about letting things organically fall away around you, keeping to those higher standards and sharpening this intuition doing the soul work, this is all leading into a really beautiful alignment so that something wonderful can happen to you. And that's the part that's out of your control that is more divine and 
it's going to feel like you won the lottery. Okay, this is after this week. So this isn't this week for sure. This week is about aligning yourself to that energy so that you're like ready. It's getting ready for it. So steady, steady yourselves, Capricorn, and do the work and there will be a really great um, karmic payout at the end of it. Okay, that's it. Bye. Thank you.